and welcome back to the fourth video where we're going to show you how to deploy your strappy starter to Vercel. We already set up the project locally, we deployed it to cloud, and now we're going to deploy our Next.js front end to Vercel. So if you haven't seen the previous three videos, make sure you go check them out. I'll make sure to link to them in the description below. We're going to start by logging in into your Vercel account. And if you haven't created one, you could sign up via GitHub. I already have one, so I'm just gonna click log in. I'm going to use GitHub. Once I'm authenticated, I'm in inside my account. I'm going to click on add new project and I'm going to point it to my Strapi Starter local setup that we previously set up in the first two videos. I'm gonna click import and things to consider here because our main project both has our backend and frontend, we wanna make sure that we point to the correct folder. So here I'm going to say point to the frontend. And the second final step, very important, is that we have to add all the correct environmental variables which we have in our ENV file. So let's go ahead and do that now. We're going to add our next public Strapi API token. And in your cloud account, we have to go ahead and create it. So inside my Strapi Cloud project, I'm going to go ahead and log in into my Strapi account. I'm already logged in. So going into settings, API tokens, and let's create our read token. We're gonna select duration unlimited, token type read, click save. You're gonna get your token, make sure you copy it, click save once more. And inside of our cell, let's go ahead and paste that in. Click add. We're going to add our next token, which is our next public page limit. Click copy. Go ahead and add it. It's going to be six. Let's add our next public form submission token. Control copy. Let's paste it in here. And now we have to create it in our cloud account. So we're going to go API tokens again, create new token. I'm going to just call it form and we're going to set duration unlimited, select type. It's going to be custom because we only want to create a token for us being able to create new form submissions. So click on form submissions, check create, go ahead and click save, copy your token, click save again. And inside of our cell project, let's go ahead and paste it in. Click add. And finally, we want to add our next public Strapi API URL token. Let's paste it in here. And that's the URL of your project. Go ahead and copy and let's paste it back in without the slash at the end. Click add. And now we're ready to deploy a project. So let's click the deploy button. Once the deployment process is done, I'm going to check back in with you for the next step. Now that our project is deployed, let's go back to dashboard and let's click visit. And here you see our website, but wait a second, something's wrong. This image is not showing up. And when we're here in our blog, none of the image is showing up as well. What is the issue? So let me show you the fix here. The first thing we need to do is get the image domain name that we have to use. So going back into your cloud account, you're going to go under media library and you're just gonna click at any image you like. Click on the link here and just paste it in in your browser to see where it takes you. And one thing to keep in mind with Strapi, your project URL is going to be slightly different than your media URL. So what we need to save is this URL here, which has uh, the name of your project, that media, that Strapi app.com. So make sure you have that handy. The second thing we have to do next in our local project in the next.config.js file, let's go ahead and paste in the URL. Now make sure to exclude the HTTPS part, just the URL domain name. And now let's do git add, and we're going to do a git commit message, update config, and we're going to push this to our main. Now that our project has redeployed, let's go ahead and check it out. Let's click visit the app. And as you could see, all of our images are now showing up like they're supposed to. Let's check out our block section. And notice all of our images are working as intended. Awesome. We did it. We went from setting up Strapi Starter with our Strapi Next.js project locally. And then we saw how awesome and how easily you could deploy to the cloud and finished up by deploying our front end to Vercel, which is amazing. You now have a fully deployed project that you could play around with. 
with. Anyway, if you have any questions, you can always join us on Discord. We do Monday through Friday open office hours starting 12.30 CST time. We would love to see you there either to say hello or ask us some questions. But with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this mini series and we'll see you in the next video. Have a great rest of the day wherever you are and we'll see you later.